Hi everyone, it's me, Layla. Uh, I'm. This is my entry for the tag card or layout challenge for I Triple Dog Dare You. Um, we had the requirements were it either had to be a theme of Halloween or fall autumn. Uh, a lot of layering, lace, ribbon, or trim. Uh, three or more flowers, a vintage image, or a stamped image. And so this is what I came up with. I did not do a tag this time or um, a card because those are a little bit more easier and not very challenging for me. However, a 12 by 12 layout is always very challenging for me. And I wanted to push myself to that limit to see if I could actually get it accomplished. So this is what I came up with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in from one corner and we'll work our way through the layout. Uh, I'll start by right here. I took a 12 by 12 cardstock, which is this chocolate brown. I distressed the edges and I liked the white showing through, so I left it. I did not ink it. Um, then I took another 12 by 12 paper. It has a little bit of design to it and I just distressed it more with uh, cappuccino and white mixed together um, paint and I just rubbed it off just to give it kind of an old dingy look um, and I cut it instead of 12 by 12 it's 11 by 11 so it can fit on the paper and then right here is a leaf autumn leaf doily that I actually picked up at the dollar store and I'll show you guys what it looks like this is what it looks like this is the doily well, you guys can't see, but that's the leaf part of the stem part of it, and that's the leaf. Um, and they're actually really good quality um, doilies for being from the dollar store. Uh, they held up very well with the paint, because I actually painted, hand painted the whole thing, um, and decoupaged it on the paper. The leaf right here um, that you guys see is actually a black leaf uh, and it's from the dollar store also it's from the Halloween section that I picked up and it's just like a bunch of flower uh, roses and has a spider icky um, that's nasty but um, all I did to that leaf was I and I cut painted it after I glued it down I painted it with orange uh, acrylic paint that has glitter in it so it kind of gave it that sparkly sheen but yet not overly done sparkle so it was perfect uh, this rose right here is handmade um, uh, I, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube to show how to make these and I basically just um, distressed the edges after I made the rose and then I dipped it in or not dipped it oh, sorry <laughs> I edged it with um, cappuccino acrylic paint and that is the name of the color uh, the paper in the background that you guys see right here this red and um, the matting on the photo right here I hand colored them because I never I did not have anything in my stash uh, to match the colors of fall and the pictures and I really wanted to bring out the dark browns and the reds and orange and yellow because that's what it reminds me of full are those colors so I basically took a yellow paper um, cardstock not paper cardstock and I colored it um, I mixed I believe brown and red um, and I got that color and then to get this one I added a lot of cappuccino color with a little bit of orange in it to get this kind of color and then right here I added obviously some yellow if you can see that so these papers are actually all hand colored I don't I didn't pull them out of a stash or anything right up here there's a sign that says autumn I did not have a stamp so I hand wrote it um, and these are the flat back pearls um, the, and it's these ones that were in my Etsy haul or not Etsy I am so sorry eBay haul um, they're really pretty color. I, I really like them a lot. Uh, this bling right here is actually from Recollections. It's there and it comes out right here. So it's kind of like going this way, going up. Um, there's another doily down here. And this one I, is the same doily. And I just colored it more of an orange-yellow color instead of a red-brown like I did up here. Um... Sorry if I'm moving a lot, guys. Right here, 
uh, this is a lace and it was white and I colored it kind of a brown reddish brown I don't know if you can tell the red a little bit right there you can tell like red so it's like painted uh, red and brown um, to match this color uh, this picture I got off um, online uh, and it just caught my eye as soon as I saw the picture I was like I have to use this image for my um, uh, challenge so I drew inspiration out of that this particular picture uh, right here this is a rose that I handmade out of paper I will be making a tutorial on how to do this rose I was playing around and I came up with it so I don't even know if it's a rose it's a flower whatever I don't know and then these are also handmade flowers um, a lot of the stuff on my layout is um, either handmade or hand colored since I don't have a lot of stuff to do so I, I buy a lot of whites and then I customize them um, right here it says it's a quote that I got off um, the internet and I really liked it it says nature gives to every season a beauty all its own uh, and it's by Charles Dickens and I just thought that it perfectly fit the picture since it's a woman's face beauty season this fall I don't know I just thought of it like that so call me crazy but um, this uh, this is another paper and I distressed it it doesn't it doesn't look like that the original one looks like uh, let me see if I can find it um, it is actually really pretty paper and I got it from obviously I'm not gonna find it right now right because I need it um, Oh, come on. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. I just pulled you out. Well, I'll show you. Okay, there it is, I think. Um, this is what that paper looks like. And it's this. It's just plain white. And it has a little bit of distressed edges. And it's from the classic paper pack by the Paper Studios. And I got it from Hobby Lobby, I believe. So I distressed that also and I painted the bag just to kind of give it a little bit of a lift movement. Um, I have a couple of movements on my thing, so this is like one of them. Um, this is another paper like I told you guys that I colored. I just rolled the edge and then I added a little, I handmade this rose too. I added a little bit of the same trim. I had a little leftover, didn't want to throw it away, so I just put it, tucked it right here and I did a fold to it. I added a pearl, like a taupe pearl right there if you can see um, and I told you guys this is another doily that I colored uh, these are the white pearls that I got from my Walmart haul a long time ago and it's these ones like I told you guys I buy a lot in white so I custom color them then according to what I need so I bought these ones and all I did is I painted it uh, or dyed it whatever you want to term you want to use um, into a brown it's like a chocolate mocha brown kind of and I glittered it ever so little just to give it I don't know right there you can tell a little bit of sparkle just a tad bit sparkle this paper came from the same paper line that I just showed you from the previous one um, and it's also distressed I really distressed it with some reds and whites and browns and yellows and all the colors under the umbrella um, and then I distressed the edges right here. Uh, I added some flat back pearls. Again, I distressed it. So, and I ripped the edges and then distressed them more. Put some paint here and there just to give it a very old vintage feel. Um, right here, I ripped it, rolled it basically, added, it shows up very pink, <laughs> but it's not, it's like a reddish. Um, lace and I got this from Lavish Laces. It's actually both of them for Lavish Laces. Um, and um, I added a flat back pearl here too. And I kind of fanned out the the lace, not just to look like I just threw it on there. And then right here is um, I rolled the paper up again. This pearl has actually movement. It just it does. It's not stuck except for two edges. So it looks kind of like a like it's coming out. Um, and that's basically my whole layout. Uh, 
and I hope I've met all criteria. Uh, so the next video will be basically I'll show you guys how to make this rose. I don't know if there's a uh, tutorial out there. I, I haven't seen one. I just basically took a cloth technique and I made it. So, um, and I and this is also the paper is hand colored, so it's not the original color of the paper. It was yellow, but. Um, I will go ahead and do a tutorial after this video on that flower. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.